massacres and strange cruelties against them. They attack the towns and spread neither the children nor the aged, nor pregnant women, nor women in childbed, not only stabbing them and dismembering them, but cutting them in pieces as if dealing with sheep in the slaughterhouse. They laid bets as to who, with one stroke of the sword, could split a man in two or could cut off his head or spill out his entrails with a single stroke of the pike. They took infants from the mother's breast, snatching them by the legs and pitching them head first into the crags roaring with laughter and saying as the babies fell into the water boil there you offspring of the devil yeah who's the devil and two, who's, who's the, yeah, right Tell me okay. who's the, devil? the spaniards took babies from their mother's breasts grabbing them by the feet and smashing their heads against rocks they built a long giblet uh, low enough for their toes to touch the ground and preventing strangling and hanging 13 natives at a time of honor at the time in honor of christ their savior and the 12 apostles then oh, straw was wrapped Bible. around their torn bodies the and they were burned alive. So much against my race and my they would cut in Indian's hands and leave them dangling by a shred of skin. Terrible. And they would yeah. test their swords and their manly strength on captured Indians and place bets for the placing off of heads or the cutting of bodies in half with one blow. One cruel captain traveled over many leagues, capturing all the Indians he could find. Since the Indians would not tell him who their new lord was, he cut off the hands of some and threw others to the dogs, and thus they were torn to pieces. Light them up, guys and girls. Because he did not give the great quantity of gold asked for, they burned him and a number of other nobles. Hey, with the intention of leaving no prince or chief in alive in the entire country. Yeah. The Spanish treated the Indians with su such rigor and inhumanity that they seemed the very ministers of hell, driving them day and night with beatings, kicks, lashes, and blows, and calling, calling them to no sweeter names than dogs. Women who had just given birth were forced to carry burdens, burdens for the Christians and thus could not carry their infants because of the hard work and weakness of, of hunger. Infinite numbers of these were cast aside on the road and thus perished. It's too hot. With my eyes, I saw Spaniards cut off the nose, hands, and ears of Indians, male and female, without provocation, merely because they praised them to do it. Likewise, I saw how they summoned the Pakyukas and the chief rulers to come, assuring them safely, and when they peacefully came, they were taken captive and burned. When the Spaniards had collected a great deal of gold from the Indians, they shut them up in three big houses, crowding in as many as they could, then set fire on the, to the houses, burning alive all that were in them. Yet those Indians had given no cause nor made any resistance. As the Spaniards went with their war dogs hunting down Indian men and women, it happened to a sick Indian woman who could not escape from the dogs, sought to avoid being torn apart by them in this fashion. She took a cord and tied her year-old child to her leg, and then she hanged herself But the dogs came and tore the child apart. Before the creature expired, however, a fire baptized it. Any more? Okay, well that's it. That's the uh, <laughs> 10th annual. Uh, thank you all for coming out. And final word is, you know, now that you folks are aware of this issue, you know, it's, it's, it's yours now, okay? You do with it what you want, what you can, okay? Educate your family, friends, um, and uh, we, we will talk more uh, in the class and outside of class. Mahalo. Aloha.